Hey everyone, welcome back to the Binding Graduate Repentance. On the last run, we beat Greedy Emote with Jacob and Esau. Everyone in the main caps now have beaten Greedy. That is great news. We don't have to do it for a while until I start doing the tainted characters. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back to Lazarus, try and knock out the Beast or Mother, and then we know where we are with everyone in the main cast. They'll either have to beat the Beast or the Mother one more time. Let's go. Also, other fantastic news. The temperature is broken in the UK, finally. Oh, that's a great start, by the way. So, it's not incredibly hot anymore. Like, it's not in, like, the low 30s, high 20s. It's now low 20s. Possibly high teens, even. Which is glorious. Okay, it's a range down pill. Uh, shoot the whoop early on. I wouldn't say no. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy to get a damage upgrade very early. We're, again, as always, looking to die as Lazarus in a productive way. What productive way? We'd like to die on the Devil Deal. That is like the the textbook of Lazarus. Die on the Devil Deal. Ideally with a good Devil Deal. You know, not picking up like uh, Brother Bobby and Ouija board or something like that. Uh, you gave me one troll bomb. Not a great deal, not gonna lie. Okay, let's confuse you all and do a little bit of mass room damage. See what our first item is. And it's gonna be... Death Touch. Okay, X-ray vision. It's actually not bad. Secret rooms are pretty good. Case in point. Uh, I will 100% take damage to take it in for me. I know it was a spirit heart that was protecting my health, but Infamy is a very, very good item. I was going to say we can save that TNT barrel to search for secret rooms. Uh, newsflash. You don't need it anymore. It actually removes a bit of my requirement as well to get bombs, which is pretty nice. So I can use bombs a bit more proactively. Right, let me keep the shot. Uh, what is this? This is a new item. Something sack. I tell you what sack it looks like and, you know. I, I don't think I need to go any further with that, honestly. Right, keep dodging. But yeah, Infamy protects you from damage, like, at random. I don't know what the percentage is, but... Whatever the percentage is, it feels pretty high, honestly, to me. Because it saves me a lot of damage on a run. My guesstimate, and I, again, this will be a guesstimate, is it'll save me from, like, at this point, at least 8 damage. If you had an item which was 8 spirit hearts, you'd be, like, over the moon to get it. And that's what infamy is. Now, obviously, that's not how percentages work. It may never protect me, but... As I mentioned before, it feels like it pays out a lot. Just take your time with this. We're going to get a ball of bandages or something like that from this guy. I don't have a key, so I can't go into the alt path immediately. Which I would like to do. I'd like the choice of my item room items. That being said, I've been burnt a few times now by getting Isaac's heart on the mystery item. So maybe it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Not that it matters because we're going down. <laughs> If we don't get a key on the next floor, then we do, you know, the beast instead. Right, can I get into my curse room for free? No, I can't. This is hugely important for me now, what we do on this floor. I have Devil Preston, but I have no Spirit Heart protecting it. That's nice to know. Uh, I, I, I'm just going to put a bomb here. Get a card. It's tower question mark. Interesting. That's a tinted rock. Just lift this room. I'm half tempted to tower question mark and see what happens.
Like, I don't know. You know what? For now, let's just play the play the safe game. It wasn't spirit hearts. That's pretty painful. Eh, poop will you pair with spirit hearts, please? Or a key? By the way, if I get a key, I'm 100% going in my item room. Right now. No? No keys on this run, huh? By the way, this is a seed. I'll do that a bit slower for you. Okay, let's kill the guys that are going to walk out first. You know what? I just want to see something. So if there's rock and stuff there anyway, it doesn't generate anything. Right, I need to have the last. There's three tinted rocks in this room. Okay, that is pretty good. I think this will get both, actually. There we go. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to pick up two and leave the other one for now. Because as I said, I want to die on the devil deal. Okay. That's kind of annoying what I've just done here. <laughs> I can't get past without picking another one up. So let's hope that's not the direction to the boss. If it is, we have to pick up uh, another spirit heart. It's annoying, but not the end of the world. Oh my god, it's so nice having a floor that's not incredibly hard early on in the game. By the way, no keys still. Hey, we can get around. We're, we're saved. Run saved. And we even got a key. And we even got a lot of red hearts. One of the few times I'm happy to see that room. Now, if only there was an arcade as well. Get a sack. Money. The sun. Hmm. The sun I'll hold on to for now. It has a lot of decent uses. My mass room damage is one of them. Refilling my hearts. Another pretty good one. I'm actually worried right now I'm not going to have to die on the devil deal because I've got too much HP. The health uphill might have ruined it. If we don't, we don't. We just, we just carry on as we are, I suppose. And we save the respawn. As like a countermeasure. You know, for the mother fight. Gives us like one more hit. Don't pick up that either. Protected our devil deal. I'm not picking up the HP yet. Okay, we, we can't kill ourselves productively on it, so I don't think we did. I think we just protect the life now. The only devil deal that could have been is the three pedestal one that could have let us die, but we didn't get it. Right, I also have a decision to make here. Do I go to fight the beast instead? Because if I do that, then... I can get my item room. Let's do the beast. Like, it's a decent run. We'll go fight Beastie Boy. There, so we're just going straight down. 10 coins, let's hope we get an arcade. Because we could do a lot of good things with an arcade. Oh, weird. Oh, very weird. Super weird. <laughs> Free entry into our shop. Give me a free coin, thank you. Oh, wow, the boss fight. Hmm. Let's not fight the boss just yet. Uh, let's get item room. Smart fly is pretty bad. It is one of the items needed for Beelzebub. If we can get Beelzebub, that'd be pretty good. But really what I'm looking for now is to stack damage, I think. Or a defensive tool, like a really good one. I know I've got Infamy, which is a very good one, but like just a secondary one or something. Even if it was something as stupid as, like, the trinket child's heart. 
Just so I can get more red hearts. I would take it. That's right. We were patient. And we were rewarded. Come on. Thank you. Uh, it kind of scares me this room a little bit. There we go. Another key. Another pill. One makes you small. That's fine. Uh, we'll just put death in a the room. There you go. Great use of death. Probably helps if you don't destroy the poop. Our secret room is a troll bomb. And bomb beggar. Uh, we don't gotta do anything with bomb beggar. I, I, I don't know. Bomb beggar is the one I feel like I use the least. It's between bomb beggar and key beggar. But bombs typically have like pretty good value. Especially early on. Like I only have four. I guess if I had 99 bombs or something then we could you know, trade it for money and get champion belt. Which by the way I do want. I haven't forgotten about that. I will go in the curse room. I will get ripped off by the curse room. One and a half spirit hearts for a key. That's a bad deal. This this room is also a bad deal. There's infamy saving me from one hit already. That was an orbital saving me from a hit. <laughs> Thank you. I just fat fingered the sun card. Great news. Uh, I still have use for the arcade. Not as good as before though. Okay, there isn't one anyway. I still had better use of the sun card though, even if I didn't get an arcade. Just the mass room damage would have been good enough for me. Anyway. It happens. Uh, do I want to get smaller? Yeah, why not? Let's be smaller than my orbital. I'm sure that won't ever go wrong. Right, down another floor. Uh, how do I feel about this run? We're pretty good. Not incredible. Pretty good. We've not fought the boss yet either, have we? No. Ooh, this could be nice. I'm trying to do orbital damage. This is stupid. I will trade a bomb for that. Camming Conception is probably the worst result I could have got. Uh, down we go. Hmm, there's our arcade we've been waiting for. I think we play this. Because I, I trust this and I know what it does. I also didn't get champion belt in the last four because we couldn't afford it. Feels bad. Uh, we're hoping for blood bag. We get IV bag. Uh, we'll pick it up. Oh, I can't put it down. Duh. What do you offer? I really want to play this and just see what like the results are. Are you literally just the same, but you pair with like a key, or is it going to be a golden key or something? And also, what's your payout? Like, Skatol can be from the other guy. What do you give? Maybe it's a Devil Deal item? Who knows? You know, no red hearts again. And by the way, I don't count dying to him productive means of, you know, sacrificing my life. Okay. Not an awful trinket. Although it is becoming to a point in the game where we're not going to see too many poops. So maybe it is. Not great. Uh, let's move to the other side of the room where there's a little bit more space. And dodge back again. 
Thank you, Orbital. How are you still alive? Riddle me this. How you live? Right, nice shot. Uh, let's not go that way for a second. Sure. Uh, so this is a dead end. That's fine. Nice to know. Give me a penny. Let's go through the trap room now. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not going back to that. What's he even going to be called? Demon Cupman? Well, I'm probably not going to go back to it through that trap room. It's not a bad trap room, but I just don't want to run the risk. So since it looks like I might only get a key to my troubles. A key, a coin, or a bomb. Oh, come on. Green flies. You may have also noticed my health is evaporating slowly but surely. I have noticed that too. Uh, Hangman would be pretty nice here. Pick up the red heart, get the key. This mushroom is the key one to kill. So that then creates space for me to kill this one. Then I can kill this one. And finally the top one. Temperance. Uh, not bad. Again, blood bag would be pretty good. Speed up plus health up. Uh, I'm going to go into the room below me just to see what it is. Not a shop. It is all of the secret room now. A nice jump there, pin, by the way. I think we do play this. Uh, maybe not yet, though. Maybe we'll get a shot first. And see what's in there. Just in case like something insane like Diplopia is in there. Thank you. Pins, is it? Three pins. Three lovely little pins. Sure, let's go wild. I just want to see what it does. So anti-grav I kind of hate as an item. But I'm intrigued to see what it will do in the beast fight. How that will work. But this is definitely a bad item. There are a few amusing synergies with it, but... Right, Mum's Trinket Purse. By the way, I can tap shoot, so in theory it's not terrible. It just means that I can't really hold shoot anymore. I think I'm going to take Mum's Purse for more Trinket Room. That's not the Trinket I'm after. And I'm going to take Mum's Key. Better Chess. And then I think I'll buy the Spirit Heart. Big investment. But I'm hoping to get big returns off it, right? By the way, where are we going? Where's the boss room? Is it up? No. Did I miss a door? Uh. Oh, left. I can't aim my tears anymore unless I tap shoot. You know what? Let's just tap shoot a little bit. I'm sure that'll sound great on the microphone that's just above my right hand. 
more temperance. Oh, I hate this room. Would anyone kindly like to come to this wall of anti graph tears? Okay. Hey! I really want to kill that grey one, honestly. It's kind of ruining my vibes. I can't believe those two dodge like every single shot then in the middle. Well, it's only going to take six years, so don't worry about that. Right, let's get a bit more aggressive now and move forward to one more lane. Don't ever accuse me of not being zany, by the way. Taking anti-gravity was definitely not the correct choice, but it's the funny choice. Oh, come on. Could you consider, like, you know, coming over to where I'm fighting? I'm intrigued how they spawn, by the way. Like, he never goes to the right of me, or she. Okay, double Gerdy Jr. Not my favourite boss fight, but not awful. Just trying to keep them together and bait them in a circle. Uh, we will pick that up. We'll pick this up. We'll walk through here. I don't think I'm going to take Deathless with Antigrav because it's basically unusable. This I will take, though. At the cost of a Spirit Heart. Good dodge there. Okay, down we go. Depths. I might do this, you know. What? Two. I'll just do two for now. I'm on half a red heart. I might as well pick up the look up. This will bring me to... to HP again. Okay, I'm at 2 HP right now. Uh, anti is pretty funny against fighting these guys, because I can just leave it in the air and just run into it and die. Okay. Again, we're just finding like, the bosses right now that anti is kind of okay against. Cool. So let's spend... One. Two. Three. Four. I pick up the red heart. I think I'm now on two spirit hearts, one red heart. So I'll leave this for now. Ooh. I, I actually kind of want to. That's one and a half red hearts. Let's play the one on the left. Because if I can get health up, that'd be pretty big. Justice is nice. The key is fine. Not health. Justice. Uh, I made a bit of a risky play there. Could have been a troll bomb now that I think about it. So I'm back to one red heart, two spirit hearts. I'm going to leave the charge key there in case I get an activate and that's, you know, actually useful. By the way, in case people are wondering, you used to be able to run into the donate, sorry, the blood bank when you were hit and get like a free play on it. That's been removed from the game now. Health up is Health nice. Up. Just in case some old stalwarts of like Isaac are watching in right now, you can't do that. Apparently, it was too strong, too broken.
Okay, more money. Another pill. Pretty Just keep ch chomping on those pills, I guess. Uh, I've lost count now. I think I'm one and a half again. Bam, bam, bam. Bo -do -do -do. Let's play you some more. One. Two. Three. Oh, wait, I have three card containers. I didn't need to do that. It doesn't matter. I'm picking up this anyway. So I think this puts me onto two red hearts, but I have four containers and then two spirit hearts. Oh, don't suck me in. Hmm. Couldn't drop that card elsewhere. Uh, odd mushroom, I like. The Bible. Well, I can't afford it right now, is the thing. That being said, normally I wouldn't do this, but I think I will get the Bible just because I have stuff to pick up over the void. Hey, that's our sun card. It's back again. Right, I really don't know what my health is anymore. <laughs> I think I have at least three HP containers, so I can play this six times. Now if I sun, I have, I can't remember. I have five health containers, so I can play this 10 more times. The sun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really? You're not going to pay out? Okay. Uh, I'll leave the charge key still. Uh, by the way, I, I mentioned this before. We have one red heart. Child's heart is... A, I class as a defensive item right now for my health situation. So I have one red heart and I think five containers. I can't believe that pin survived, by the way. Enjoy that pin. How, how are things dying over here? Oh, I see how. Uh, two red hearts. Don't run away from me. Have I been in both secret rooms? No, I haven't. get roasted. Uh, how many bombs do I have right now? Eight. Yeah, I'll make a deal. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, are you Incubus or Succubus? I always get these mixed up. Oh, I have two of them because of Cambion Conception. No, I have Incubuses? I don't know what's going on anymore. I have both Incubus and Succubus. The guy that's floating around what, with his little bat wings, give me a damage up. Is that Incubus? And then the ones that like are up sort of type things or familiars of uh, Succubus? I think it's that. Great fight. I do have a use for the Bible, by the way. Let me just see who the boss is. War. What is he good for? Uh, who knows? Dropping bombs on me, probably. Yeah. I war. Okay, I appreciate you just running into my tears. Do not know what hit me at the end of the battle there. I will take... Oh, it was, it was the fire. I'll take bullet bandages level 2. I wish you weren't Krampus. Give me a lump of coal, please. Thank you. Let's go back and use the Bible. 
Uh, where am I in Red Heart? I think I'm at two. I love count actually. Right, this room with the sucky suckies. That's Bible. And let's go back down. Uh, apologies in the background if you can hear some vacuuming going on. Pick up the charge key now. One, two, three, four. Really, that never paid out. Wow. Okay, I'm not playing it anymore. Give me that back. Uh, I have basically no use for the gold key. Oh, I tell you what I could do. A bit risky again. I can Bible here to go into the curse room and get a terrible curse room. Uh, I trade half a red heart for half a spirit heart. Doesn't really matter right now. I'd probably prefer the half spirit heart than the red heart, but hey ho. We honestly might not get another devil deal this run. But we'll see. With all my little minor complaints, this run is still insanely strong. I just want it to like pop a little bit more. Okay, we had way more health than I thought we did. This is Neptune now, right? Yeah. So we're unlikely to get another devil deal. So let's build up our red health. Another blood bank or an arcade, as it's also called. I'll do it. Maybe only once, but I'll do it. You know what? I'll actually I'll play you. I'm probably gonna fight greed this floor. Hermit. Yeah, I'll take it. Would I take crystal ball? Yeah. Trinkets, broken vision. I guess this gives me like double vision every so often. Oh man, what's your own temperance? Okay, this is paying out incredibly right now. Holy son of God, what are you doing? Justice. It's a troll bomb. Two of hearts. That's very nice to know. Holy son of... What is going on here? Chariot? Chariot was worth five coins to me. A fool card? We do need a fool card. Or a teleport card, I suppose. It's just continuously paying out. What more can I say? What is going on here? Uh, we don't want the tower. I'm actually getting kind of annoyed. Hey, it didn't pay out. Like, what is this? Ooh, Demon Judgment. Oh my god. I'm just popping all the magicians, I see. Just to clear space. Like, this is the most blessed machine I've ever seen. I'm just going to pop that because I don't need... 16 bombs till the end of the game anyway. Can you use the faded Polaroid to open the door? The magician. Hang on, there's something I want to try. Because the faded Polaroid can be the negative or like the Polaroid on a room. I think we stopped playing it now because I just don't have reason to play it. Let me just check. Thank you. I was scratching my ear, like you know, ready to do this like nice little test. And you ruin it. Like, my luck is only one. Is it Mum's key that's doing this? Is it counted as better loot? 
By the way, we should Bible in here. Uh, okay. <laughs> the faded Polaroid opened the mausoleum. I don't have to do the mum anymore. More importantly, though, I can keep the Polaroid of the negative. That's actually funny. Sorry, I accidentally played you one time. Like, I can d give Demon Judgment Spirit Hearts if I wanted to. By the way, we're switching our attention now to the Demon Judgment. His power is higher. Oh, that's pretty good too. I'm actually gonna spend some spirit out on you. Do, 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 do. I can't remember how much thing gives you. Is it like three? By the way, this is propping uh, conjoined. Or not conjoined. Camping conception. So there's a reason just to keep hurting myself on this. Yep. I can see forever. Can Didn't see. need it. Forever. Now what misplay have I made? I'm gonna have to spend a demon heart now rather than a spirit heart. I should have picked up the other spirit heart first. I I'm just intrigued where this goes now. I don't think I need one match stick. Joker? I mean, we might have to pop Joker, actually. Joker. Uh, okay. This floor is insane. I'm going to take both. That's the mum transformation, by the way. It kind of changes anti-grav, but this is this is good. Why did I do that? I'll just to free up some space for more spirit hearts, I guess. Okay, this is getting a bit ludicrous. Can we, I have some more spirit hearts, please? I've... I've uh, spent all mine already. Ace of Spades I'll take with me. The chariot. Thank you. Uh, I'll take it. I want the speed up. Right, we're nearly done. Uh, I could come back for death. No more active items. Uh, I wouldn't actually mind another active item. Like, that was insane payouts, wasn't it? Stars. Uh, you know what? I have no idea. It doesn't work, but it just gave me the damage instead, I think. Okay. This run has changed for the better. Oh, hold on. Like, the, the run is just giving me everything I asked for. Like, I wanted a range up for my knife. The game's like, oh, certainly, sir. May I provide you with one range up hell? And I'm like, oh, thank you. Oh, by the way, the full card is there. This is, like, a perfect run for the beast. Now, we might still throw this, but I, I couldn't blame the game this time. This would be a, a me throw if I lost this. You know what? Why, why mess about? I'll blow skulls up for potential demon hearts. A uh, strength card I wouldn't mind taking with me going forwards. Hello, Judgment. Uh, I can't really do anything with Chariot right now. Oh yeah, th this run is crazy. Oh, I guess there is one screw up I could make. Not getting the Fool card. Yeah, I'll, and I wouldn't mind a PhD, honestly. Hmm. Sure. All right, I thought it could fly. Uh, we're two thirds to become guppy, by the way. Remember, I have one respawn as well, and then maybe a respawn. A one and then a maybe. 
You know what? That's perfect ace of spades territory. I'll spend a key to get two keys. Apparently a spirit heart in here somewhere. I don't see it. Oh. Weird. Uh, right, I should go back and get the fool. Let's stop messing about now. Try and find mum as soon as possible. I have everything I'm probably going to get good off this floor. I've seen my item room and my shop. I would like PhD off the shop, but, you know. You know something I've just thought? If you picked up Little Baggy, what happens to the Fool card from the, the skull? Is it special? Is it like always a Fool card still? Because that would actually like lock you out from that fight. Which would be kind of weird. Hello, Pins. Goodbye, Pins. Turns out Pin is not used to three Mum's Knives. I mean, I guess four because one's shooting out my uh, posterior as well. Okay. Oh, Greed is here. I can afford PhD now. Because of Steam Sale. Holy. What was this chest? Is Mom's key broken or something? Like, what is this, like, rewards that I'm getting? It's insane. That might be like some of the wildest things I've seen for like payouts. What was I about to do then? Oh, I was going to get a PhD. And then probably donate the rest of the money. Uh, give me a PhD, please. I wouldn't say that's a better tale, honestly. Okay, you don't want all my money, apparently. Hoff, I also would not class as a great pill. Couple more bombs, sure. Uh, the wheel. I'll give you two coins to pay out. Oh my god, he paid out. And he paid out with Hero Font. Well, you know what? I gave you two coins. You gave me a Hero Front card and a Spirit Heart. Like, do I need to buy a lottery ticket later? It, it has to be Mum's Key. Unlucky mom. Right, this actually matters this time. We'll take the negative. And we'll fool away. And let's go get that hero font card, I think. Do I want strength or hero font? Maybe I want strength, actually. Yeah, let's take strength. Strength is 1 HP, but it's also a big damage up, so. Right, to the mausoleum, baby. Now that I think about it, I have one more shop, don't I? I have a shop here. Oh, we'll generate money again. Okay. Oh! <laughs> it's just like, I lost track of the enemies then for a second. Music epicness intensifies. The guppy dream may be over. Unless we can get a joker card. In which case, the dream may still live. Bamboo. But honestly, I think I just want to get out of this floor as fast as I can. I don't want to mess about in here. Oh, my game froze for a second. Very inconvenient. Sure. Piggy bank or mystery item? This is a bit boring, but I'm going to take piggy bank because I just don't trust the other things. If it's Isaac's heart, then we just lose. Speaking of I don't trust, I have so many bombs. 
I have so many bombs. Wooden cross. I like wooden cross. I think I leave behind Child's Heart now. I don't know why I'm not just fighting you guys, honestly. I could have easily killed you. Yeah, I think Child's Heart has had its time. Wooden Cross will give me an extra hit per floor. I kind of want to find the shop, I'm not going to lie. I did say I want to get out as soon as possible, but... I don't know if you notice, I'm kind of strong. These are all gonna be good pills. Luck up. Uh, what would I prefer? A look up? I think I'd prefer a look up to a shot speed up. Luck up. I don't think I'm gonna make myself any smaller. Shot speed up. Like the shot speed of Mum's knife isn't awful. It's like something I can deal with. More luck to give me maybe more, like, hearts going forwards. That feels pretty good. Help. Okay, there's Wooden Cross. That's fine, that's what the Wooden Cross is there for. More money. It's a pity I can't donate more to the donation machine, but, you know, these things happen. Okay, this was 100% not worth going to my shop for. Turned out it was on the opposite side of the map. Okay, I got baited. There's Super Greed, there's 25 more coins. A, a bad chest. Wow. Wow, Isaac, thanks for that chest. Oh, I can even save a key, by the way. What does it do here? Okay. Fair. So... The Bible doesn't really do anything for me going forward, or it doesn't do that much. You know what, it does more than probably learn to move items around. And by items, I don't mean items. What I mean is... Brock blocks, because that's what that thing does. It's like weightlifting bracelet or something. Okay, I think we're done. Go that way. <laughs> Just running into the uh, wheel of death. Honestly, we have a great chance. And by great chance, I mean I would be extremely disappointed to lose this. For one of the few times I'm in the camp of the believers. Shot speed? Yeah, okay. If you offer me a shot speed up, I'll take it. Thank you, Incubus. Uh, stop trying to make me smaller, though. I'm small enough as it is. Like I can, I can only see myself based on my knife almost. I'm so small. Uh, in theory, this is a good deal. In practice, do I need thirty something bombs? Probably not. More luck there, that's pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of missing is a contingency plan in case I get hit on a room. Because the bed's not going to do a lot for me. It would heal the red heart containers, but it's not going to give me a bunch of spirit hearts, I believe. Maybe it does, I don't remember. Normal beds wouldn't do. The either if you have all spirit hearts, they'll give you three spirit hearts. 
But if you have all red health, you, they fill the red health containers. Well, like, sorry, if it's a mixture and you have empty red health containers. Well, maybe that bed's special, because it is my home bed? My bed? It is my bed, right? The other one's mum's bed. He's self-destructive and disturbed, just like his father. Look at who he has to look up to. You're drunk again, aren't you? Shut up, Maggie! Shut up! The, the sad thing was, I Keep saw that. Me like this. I'm leaving! Good! Leave! We'll be fine without you! Abandon us like you've abandoned yourself. Okay. We need to be smart just for a little bit. Leech, can you give me a red heart, please? Buddy. Pal. Great dodge from there. That's all round great fight. I think we still keep going up. Oh, Leech did give me half a red heart. Okay, thanks, Leech. Again, who would I say is the MVP of this run? Item wise. Uh, probably Mum's Knife. Incubus. Uh, not Incubus. Infamy has done less for me than I thought it was going to. I think it's only saved me one hit. And I say only, it's still nice. Trolled. But still, it, it was nice to have. It, it has to be Mum's Knife, isn't it? Or honestly, you know what? I've changed my mind. It wasn't an item. It was the Fortune Teller. That was the MVP of this run. Legitimately. The Fortune Teller gave me most of the spirit outs I have now. It gave me a health up, a speed up. I'm sure I got more off it as well. But I just can't think of right now. Uh, you are insane, by the way. Maggie. Rather than pray, why don't you just be a productive parent, you know, and help Isaac? I mean, I guess that is the whole story of the things, is that, you know, she's not a great parent. <laughs> okay, we're just, you know, just flying through right now. Hello, Monstro. Goodbye, Monstro. Hello, other Monstro. Goodbye, other Monstro. This feels like quite a big floor, weirdly. Even Leech is trying to put in a bit of effort. Leech is like, oh, like don't count me out of the MVP status just yet. Well, unfortunately, Leech, you aren't really designed to be the carry. Speaking of the carry, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Unite recently, which came out just last week. And it's a really fun game, but it's so unbalanced. It's kind of laughable. Like, you kill Zapdos, you win. Like, 90% of the games is that. Doesn't matter what happened in the rest of the game, almost. Now, I've probably played, like, 30 games of it by now. I've had one game where we killed Zapdos and didn't win. Also, the balance between certain characters is insane. Like, Gengar, especially, is so strong. Zera Aura, or whatever it's called, is also insanely strong. And then there are a few others. Like It's kind of weird. Like It feels like there's four or five like S-tier characters. And then there's a couple of like D-tier characters. And not much in between. But, I don't know. Hopefully, uh, I, think, I think it's Tencent that developed it. We'll do some balancing. And then it'll be more fun. But I think they need to change the Zapdos thing about the Unite. Or the double point thing. One of the two. Like, you shouldn't be able to steal Zapdos as well as easily. As you can right now. Because I've had a few games where, like, you know, they put Zapdos down to, like, one health. And we've just, like, shot a basic shot and stole a Zapdos kill. And, you know, the rest is history. But the double point at the end is so brutal.
Like, it, it's literally just a carry, and the Zapdos is undefendable as well. It's kind of like... It's like a catch-22 on the whole situation. And if you defend the Zapdos, you leave your lane free. I, I don't know. I don't know what's the best thing for it. I would just remove the double points at the end. I just don't think you need it. But I get why they want to come back mechanic in the game. I don't know. But anyway, that game is a lot of fun. Now, do I agree with some of the monetization model on the game? No, I don't. I think that the... Oh, okay, we're going to get hit. The, I think the item upgrades being basically... It's not quite basically. But the item upgrade things... You can pay money to basically upgrade your item faster, which makes your items better. Which means that, you know... You're stronger than someone at the equivalent level if they're free to play. Do I agree with that? No. I think free to play games can work with microtransactions. I don't think inherently microtransactions are bad. However, I think it should just be cosmetic. If it was literally just cosmetic, hell, I'd throw some money at the cosmetics every so often. Especially if it was giving me like hours of entertainment. But when it's on like the level of, you know, improving items by like a percentile stat, it gets a little bit, you know, grubby, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to Bible just to see what happens. Nothing? Okay, sure. I didn't know if there was some weird interaction. Honestly, maybe there was if I did it on the beast, so let's get another charge to try and Bible on the beast. What are you doing? Why do you keep coming from the same side? I actually thought you were dead and I was just like taking a little break. But yeah, our, our damage is good. Really good. Some would say absurdly good. Uh, you're going to be a little bit annoying to the fight where that poison's gone. Okay, cleared that phase. We have charmed him, and he's dead. Easy as that. This is no hit, by the way, so far. We're playing as if we're tainted lost. Okay. We got hit. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, death. Meet your demise. I think for MVP status, other than the, you know, the fortune teller, which is definitely going to get it off me. Campion Conception has surprisingly done a lot of good for me. Can you take damage yet? So does this Bible do anything to you? No. I didn't know if it was going to be like a secret achievement or something, like, pop the Bible on the beast. But yeah, this is a W. So we're coming close to finishing the game with the main cast now, which is pretty nice. Okay, I've never tried to drop a bomb into his mouth. Uh, no, not a great plan. Although maybe from here. Okay, you're going to go underneath me. And then we're going to repeat the cycle now, Beast? Yes. I hate the falling style types. They're so hard to dodge. Honestly, you're living longer than I thought you would have done, Beast. You're nearly dead, though. Based on your facial expression, in fact, you are dead. That might be one of the fastest Beast kills I've had. Astral Projection Unlocked. Okay. Nice. Hey, look at this productive session we've had of recording. We beat, in the last part, Greedy Mode as Jacob and Esau, and in this part, look at us, Lazarus versus the Beast, knocked out. So now we literally have to beat either Mother or Beast as every single one of the main characters, and we've done with the main cast. And then we can move on to the funny boys. Anyway, if you enjoyed the content on the channel, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.